Hey guys, how is everyone doing? I just want to make a quick video, and it's just about updating you guys on the kit. I know a lot of you guys ask about the kit in the, sh in the live streams that we have and the video games I play, mainly Need for Speed. I mean, I just wanted to make a quick update on the front end of the kit, obviously to make it look, my car, look like the, the car in the game. Um, gotta get the right kit. Uh, if you guys are new, um, that video, the time-lapse video is like at a 1.1 mil views or something like that. If you subscribe from that and you're like pretty new, um, you guys can go watch my other videos of me making the whole car. I have them individualized or just watch the live uh, time-lapse. But other than that, uh, obviously a lot of people are like, oh, the kit's wrong. And I mean, honestly, since I put on the kit, I knew it was wrong and I wanted a different one. That's hence why I riveted on my rear flares and didn't uh, mold them on. But uh, I've been working with a friend, uh, Waker, which his Instagram's right here. Uh, give him a follow, comment on something, say you are sent from my YouTube channel, something like that. He really appreciates the support and stuff. So he's been working on the front half, as I said, and he did actually basically just about, basically just about, basically just about, almost finished the front end. Um, we're doing this the front end first, so then I can receive the front end, and I can start putting on the front end and getting it fitted and everything like that, while he continues to work on the rear end. And then by the time I'm done with the front end and other things, then I can, uh, you know, get the rear end, because by that time it'll be done instead of waiting double the time for both the front and the rear end and being tasked with double the effort to put it on instead just do the front half and then the rear half plus I can use this as a way to actually be able to get the right wheel specs before I even order any wheels or get them made or anything like that I obviously need to know how wide I need the kit to be so there's a lot of measurements to do with the wheels and stuff with the kit on the car because I don't want to like I'm pretty positive it's going to be 18 by 11 negative 50 but I don't want to order wheels and then then be a little bit too wide or be way too flush with the kit so it's kind of stupid to spend thousands of dollars to not have it work out uh, as you can see the kit he did paint the fenders white and he painted them white because he's going to be doing the uh, tribute race car which is the, the the factory the 2001 american le mans series m3 gtr but there's two racing there was the factory team the bmw one which is the one he's doing the white and blue one and the ptg one which is red and black and white i believe or something like that PTG is an American race team from like Virginia or something like that, but they I think went out of business or closed their doors in like 2011 or something. I'm really not sure, but he's doing the factory car, which is what I just showed, and that's what he's doing with this kit, which is the exact same kit that the most wanted is and everything like that. He painted it white and he finished the front end basically and now he's going to take molds of it in the next week or two and then material can be put in these molds and the parts can be pulled out and then boom I can go drive. I'll probably make a video of uh, once I go to his house. He lives about two and a half to three hours away in Long Island. It's pretty far depending on traffic. But I'll definitely do a video so you guys can meet him and actually he'll talk about the process of making it and how a kit like that is made and stuff like that, which I think would be pretty interesting. Because I tried to explain the kit process and it's really not that complicated, but when you're just talking about it, it's a lot harder to understand than it is if you are, you know, seeing it with your own eyes. So it'll be a lot better if I could just show you guys. But the rear end of the kit will come soon too, following that, maybe like a month. Uh, definitely not going to finish the car for AutoCon New York because that's like two weeks, two to three weeks away. Definitely not going to finish for Tuner Evil Philadelphia because that's July 28th. I'll be lucky if I finish it end of August or beginning of September, especially with the engine swap that's going to be happening. Hey, I said, you know, if the car is going to be a part, being body prepped, then getting a cage, then doing the carbon roof, carbon doors, might as well take out the engine and do that too while you're at it. You know, just make a full build out of it. Um, it'll take longer, but the end result will be much better and more complete, which I think is a better thing in my opinion, because I really have been wanting to do one of these real car builds where you just basically strip the car completely apart and almost start from scratch doing what you want, which I think is really cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry about the lack of content. Like I said, my car broke down, so fuel pump. Haven't had anything to post, but tomorrow the fuel pump is coming. Um, the upgraded Walboro 255 fuel pump. Uh, with the bracket, so expect a video tomorrow night uh, installing the fuel pump and doing some rips in the car because I really miss driving it a lot to be honest. 